The Electoral Commission has faced network challenges during the limited voter registration, forcing district officers to switch to offline registration instead of online, resulting in a smoother process. Most centers visited were relatively calm, with the usual chaotic scenes absent. This is a data entry machine, and Collins here mans this very machine. And he tells me that uh, with the offline mode, it's quite smooth compared to the online one. And you can take, uh, let's say, 15 minutes to attend to an applicant using the offline mode. But with the uh, online, it takes more than 30 to 40 minutes. Left for him, uh, the offline mode should be adopted, but it, sh it doesn't lie in his power to call for that. But it should be a policy direction by the Electoral Commission. But political party agents are expressing concern about the potential for multiple registrations. The offline too has its own challenges, as, as usual. But we thought maybe going offline, maybe we'll, we'll be able to register some people. But they, the EC, they are going to suffer at the end of the day because uh, some things will be happening, which because of its offline, they will not detect it until in fixing their uh, 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 machines for online, and that's why they will detect it. Maybe, probably by then, some people were, have already registered, and maybe they did their double registration and stuff, so they've already gone. For the offline mode, well, it's okay once there are internet issues, and uh, for registration to go on smoothly, uh, the the EC should go offline. I think that we are okay with just that. We are only concerned about the implications after the offline mode because the very moment we are done with the offline and they want to transition to the online, what happens? We don't want the situation where there will be some double double registration and all that. NDC parliamentary candidate for Ayawasu West Wagon, John Dumelo, called for an extension of the duration for tertiary students. For me, my main concern is the university campus, especially Legon campus. You have thousands of students who are eligible voters, you have thousands of students who have not who are first time voters. As we speak, only about close to only 300 out of maybe over 7,000 have been registered. And today is the last day for their campuses. And I think that it is, a, it is something which is of great concern to us, that they should be able to extend, especially Legon campus, so that most of the students will be able to register. If not, they will be disenfranchised. Registrants are excited about having their names recorded in the electoral roll, as many factors will influence their final decision on who to vote for. Uh, I'm 18 years of age, that's the first point and it's my right to vote. The person I'm going to vote for, I'm going to look at the person's manifesto first and how the person can develop our mother Ghana. I have a new vote, I think my vote counts to make a difference. Any person that could bring changes to what I'm seeing, yeah. The Electoral Commission has assured stakeholders that if there is a backlog at the end of the 21 day period, the exercise will be extended beyond the May 27 deadline. George Quinnin, TV3 News, Accra.